Hey guys, it's more of a night again here with Paroli Productions, and today we're going to show you how to get the triple threat, the triple banger. That's right, we're going to show you how to get Pikmin's Blade, we're going to show you how to get the lockpicking bobblehead, and amazingly awesome tales, magazine, comic book, whatever you want to call it. So this is all of these things, all of these can be found right here in Pikmin's Gallery. So, Pikmin's Gallery, where do we find it? Pikmin's Gallery is located a little bit north of the good neighbor, the good neighbor um, top village, town, whatever you want to call it. And it is all the way east of Sanctuary. So we're going to go east of Sanctuary, and then we're going to go down over here. All right, it's above the USS Constitution, all of this stuff, a little bit to the west of the Pridwin, the Boston Airport. So right here, guys, at the little tip of this island, if you haven't gotten it yet. So we're going to fast travel there, and I'm going to show you how you can get all this cool stuff all in one go and finish a quest simultaneously. It's, it's banging. It's banging. You just got to see it to believe it. All right, guys, now that we are right outside of Pikmin's Gallery, we are just going to enter inside of the door. All right, guys, now that we fast traveled to Pikmin's Gallery, we've gone inside. This is exactly what you're going to see. We're just going to go straight up the stairs, all right? Up the stairs, up the stairs. We're going to go up one more flight of stairs. Boom. And once we're up these stairs... There's going to be all types of enemies if you haven't cleared them. You can see there's a whole bunch of rooms. But here's the stairs. Here's the rooms that you're going to want to clear. And when we go to the back here, to the back of this room, right in here, you'll see the crack in the wall. You'll see some pipes. We're just going to start dropping down. Now remember, when we start dropping down, there's going to be enemies down here. I have cleared this entire building to make this fast and easy for you guys to see where I'm going so you don't have to sit through a huge, long, tumultuous video where I'm shooting things, yelling, screaming, obscenities at my screen. So, as you can see, when we walk in the room, we're going to see these paintings, all these Pikmin paintings. Just a little bit of uh, background for you. Pikmin's painting is actually an H.P. Lovecraft reference. I don't know if any of you guys picked up on that, but he had some really seriously dark artwork. All right. We're going to keep going down until we hit these sewers. We're going to drop down into the water. Once we drop down here, we're just going to go up over this ledge. Remember, there's going to be all types of guys that you're going to clear out. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll you'll take care of it. I'm sure you guys are all wasteland adventurers like myself. You won't have any problems with it. Going to go up the stairs. We're going to travel through this red lighted tunnel. We're going to go over the water pipes, over the water pipes. We're going to keep going up. There's going to be more enemies that you got to battle. We're going to keep going up. We're going to keep going up. Never stop going up, guys. Just remember that. Just keep going up through the red. We're going to pass this little ledge. And once we get inside here, we're going to keep following it until we drop down. Here you're going to see a battle where Pikmin himself is going to be fighting a legendary a legendary scavenger, I believe what it is. So he's going to drop something. And when you get down here, all of that, after you kill him... He's going to give you a key. It's going to be a key that's going to allow you to access a safe that has his blade in it, which is Pikmin's knife. And on the floor, as we can see, if we look over here, we see, oh, what's that? The lock picking bobblehead right there on the ground. Lock picking is permanently easier. Now, if you combine that with the other video I showed showing you how to get tumblers today, these do stack. So lock picking is going to be a breeze for you. And then right over here on the ground, we see astoundingly awesome tails. And this is going to give you plus five poison resistance permanently for your character. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Isn't that quite the dig right there? Yeah, that's quite the come up. You'll come right out here to North End and open it up. Now, to use the key that Pikmin gave you, you're going to have to go back into the museum where we came in. And I would advise you, as soon as you get outside here, 
Don't even worry about running around the building trying to find the entrance because you came out a totally different end. I found that it's just faster just to press B, pull out your pit boy and fast travel to the new location. All right, guys, you can see we fast traveled here. And we're just going to go right back in the door that we came through before. All right, guys, we are back inside the museum. And instead of going up these stairs like we did before, we're just going to go straight left. And this painting right here will be on the wall, this creepy Pikmin painting. You're going to go up to it, press A to activate it. And inside this safe, you are going to find... Pikmin's Blade, which does 33 points of damage, it's super fast, and the targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage. So, guys, I hope this video just helped you. Like I said, you get a bobblehead, you get a comic book, you get Pikmin's Blade, and you get a quest complete, and there's all types of other goodies that you can find inside this museum. So all in all, a great place to spend about 20 minutes of your time for a huge reward. Well, guys, hope you liked this video. Share, subscribe, whatever. I'll see you on the flip side.